Hello and welcome to the third and final video for this week. As always, my name is Ryan and I'll be helping you create and explore this activity. So we're doing activity number three or jumping goop. And what you're going to need from this bag is the included bag of cornstarch and one balloon. We always give you an extra one. Take that away. And so what you're going to do is in a small bowl, you are going to mix, get an adult if you need help, the one quarter, the one quarter cornstarch. Just uh, go ahead and pour that all out. Oops. Uh, well, no one said science wasn't messy. That's fine. That's fine though. There we go. And then you're going to also need for the first experiment, one quarter cup of vegetable oil. So take this, pour it over it just in case you spill. One quarter cup, pour that in, give it a little tap. And we are going to start mixing. Okay, so we mix it until we all, it's all smooth and there's no big lumps. And what we're trying to make here is oobleck or non-Newtonian fluid. Basically what that is, is it's a liquid when you slowly move it, but when you press down, it's more like a solid. Mine's a little runny, but if yours is as well, you can always add more cornstarch. So next I'm going to blow up the balloon. Tie it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it on the top of my head and try and create static electricity. So right now I'm just rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. And you're gonna probably want to do this for like 10 to 15 seconds. Or until you feel like you've static the balloon enough. So, I believe I have. Oh, my hair is even sticking to it. And next, I'm going to take the oobleck and see if it jumps to the balloon. And as we saw right there, it does. Like magic, it's actually jumping to the balloon and sticking to it. So if I pour it, you'll see it pulls ever so gently towards the ball. Balloon. Look at that right there, right there. And the reason why that happens is because the... Balloon now has a lot of negative electrons that were taken from my hair and they attract the positive electrons in the water, thus making it slowly but surely attract. I think I might be out of static electricity though. Yep. If you want, I'm not going to because it's a little messy, but you can also recharge it by just rubbing it again and again. This experiment, a little messy, but this isn't the only one you can try. Instead of adding, adding vegetable oil, you can always try water and see if that changes the experiment. Let us know on Wednesday if you try it during our Zoom meeting. Thank you for coming with me on these three activities and have a great week.